Good morning and welcome to Migrate with Charge. It's, it's good to have you with us. It's an honor to serve you with the word of God. Our God is good and he's awesome. I pray God's blessing on your life. Let's just take a moment to bless his holy name for he is great and he's greatly to be praised. And we honor him this morning for his goodness towards us. So let's just go before the the throne of grace god we thank you for your mercy god we thank you for your love we thank you that you are more that we are more than conquerors because you love us we thank you god for your faithfulness we, we thank you god that you keep your promises we thank you god that you never give up on us father i pray for every person today oh god who may be going through a situation who maybe going through financial problems, those who are who have health issues and those who are hurting today, oh God, and those who have family squabbles and, and, and all of these different things that goes on in our lives. Father, I pray that you will make a divine intervention on their behalf, oh God, and, and that which is out of order, that you will begin to bring it into order, that there will be a shift in their lives and there will be favor and, and they will see your hand upon their life, oh God. Father, we pray for your love and we pray for your mercy and we pray for your grace. We know that you keep your promises and that you are forever faithful to us. So God, I pray that you will answer prayer today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Today on, on, on Midweek Recharge, we're gonna share with you a, a quick word and we pray that it blesses your heart and encourage you in the Lord. We want to share today on overcoming the Goliath. Overcoming the Goliath. And we know that in our lives, we, we have so many different circumstances and situations that we have to overcome. And sometimes they feel like a Goliath. Sometimes they feel like this monstrosity of confusion. But we know that God has given us the authority to overcome every Goliath, to cut off the head of every Goliath, to destroy every Goliath that is coming against us. Our God has given us the ability to do that. And I'm just here to remind you of that this morning. First Samuel, Samuel chapter 17 and verse 26. Praise the name of the Lord. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you today that you can overcome every circumstance and over every situation. You can champion it and you can win. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that, and David spoke to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to this man that killeth these Philistines? You know the whole story of David and Goliath. So I'm just taking a few scriptures from it today to, to bring over the point that I'm trying to make to us. So David had a conversation with these men and he wanted to know what, what can we do or what should we do to this man that's killing these, these Philistines. We have to understand in our lives that we need to identify the problem that's coming to, against us. We ask a couple of questions. We, we seek counsel and we seek help so that we can de deal with what is coming against us praise the name of the lord that we can champion it and we can fight it and we can overcome it and it wouldn't overcome us praise the name of the lord and it says and and continuing it says and it taketh away the approach from israel and then what he says for who is this uncircumcised uncircumcised philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God. Praise the name of the Lord. So David said, who is this person that's coming against the army of the living God? Ask yourself today, who it is or what it is that's coming against you, a child of God? What is it that is trying to hurt you or destroy you? You are a child of God. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. And you are able to champion and you are able to win every situation and everything that will come against you. 
And verse 32 says that David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. In other words, don't let anybody be frightened. Don't let anybody be scared. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Now, we all know that Goliath was much bigger than David. But here, David, no fear. David took authority. We ought to take authority over our situations. We ought to show no fear of our situation. We ought to say, I am going to overcome this thing that sees that seems like it's going to kill me. I'm going to overcome this thing that's coming against me, and I'm going to win. David didn't have any doubt in his mind. All David was all David thought about was overcoming this Philistine that wanted to kill his people, that wanted to kill God's people. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. So David, though small, though frail, praise the name of the Lord, was not scary. He moved forward. And look what he says in verse 34. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. And we are, again, we know the story that David would, 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 would have been fighting before. And he was just reassuring them, Look, don't fear. Don't worry. I look small and I look frail. But I'm going to be able to overcome this thing. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. Look at verse 39. And David girded his sword upon his armor. And he swore to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for, for I have not proven them. Oh Lord. And David put them off him. In other words, David was saying, I am not going with something that I'm not familiar with. I am not going to fight with something that I'm not familiar with. I'm going to fight with, with that which I know. I'm going to fight with the thing that I'm most comfortable with fighting. So you may be someone who who, who prayer. You know what a prayer. You know how to call in the name of the Lord. You are taking a weapon that is familiar to you. Pray is the Lord God. So David put all these, they put Saul put all these heavy things on David. But David didn't want those. David said to him, Look, I have not proven these things. So David took them off of him because he did not prove proven them. You, you, you in your life you have to know what you have proven. In your life you have to know what you have tested. You have you have to know what has has worked for you in battle so that when you are coming up against a Goliath that the thing that you have proven the thing that you have tested you are able to use to deal with the Goliath that's coming against you praise the name of the Lord this morning so you have tried it you have tested it and you have proven it so David tried and he, he tested what he accustomed using so these things that um, Saul gave to him, and I believe Saul gave them to him, you know, thinking, you know what, this young man is going out to fight, he needs to be protected, he needs to be covered, and he needs to be secured. But David didn't know about those things, so David took them off of him, praise the Lord, and he used what he was accustomed to. Oh my God, what are you going to use today? Are you going to use what you're accustomed to? Are you going to allow fear? Are you going to allow that big ugly Goliath to destroy you or are you going to cut the head off that Goliath verse 43 says and the Philistine said unto David am I a dog that thou comest to me with staffs and the Philistine cursed David about his gods my lord he did not know that David was coming with the lord of hosts he did not know the authority that David was coming with but he ended up being a dog for truth but he thought that David was coming to fight him alone praise the name of the lord but David had already pre-planned -pre David had already prepared 
to, to deal with this uncircumcised Philistine. There are many things that come up in our lives. There are many situations and there are many people. But sometimes they don't know that you have been planning for this all your life. They don't know that you are dealing with stuff like this all of your life. So when you show up and you're ready to fight, they think that, oh, oh you, are, you, you don't have the information or you don't have the knowledge. But they don't know that God was preparing you for this time. They don't know that God was getting ready to fight this Goliath. They didn't know that God was getting ready for you to cut the head off this Philistine and throw it away. Goliath thought that David, he said, Are you do you think I'm a dog? In his mind, you you you're a little boy. You you, you think that with your little self and your little toys that you can fight me. I, I look at me to you, you are but a grasshopper. But David was coming in the name of the Lord Most High. David was coming to fight the thing, to fight the giant Goliath. In our lives, ladies and gentlemen, we have to understand who we are in God. It is not about our size. It is not about how we look. It is not about how we talk or, or whatever, but it is about knowing the God that we serve. Once you have an understanding of the God that you serve, you are able to fight the Goliath. You are able to destroy the Goliath. You are able to stand strong in the name of Jesus Christ and kick that Goliath to the curb. Whatever it is that's coming against you in your life, whatever stronghold has been fighting you for most of your life whatever has been has made you feel that you are not going to overcome i'm here to remind you today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that you are overcoming the goliath you're overcoming that situation you're overcoming that problem you are standing tall and you're standing strong because the lord of hosts is with you the god of jacob is your refuge the god of david is your refuge so you are not back in a corner hallelujah praise god you are getting ready to cut the head off that giant you're getting ready to cut the head off that stronghold you're getting ready to cut your cut the head off that situation and win praise the name of the lord god almighty so david um goliath sorry was making fun at david he was laughing at david i can i can only imagine his laugh he, you know if he had he was a giant so his laugh had to be pretty loud and and pretty deep so he probably was laughing oh, oh, oh. look at this little fool who's gonna who's trying to try and come to kill me but i'm gonna mash him to pieces but he didn't know that the god of david was coming with him he didn't know that the lord of hosts is our refuge your situation thought that you were coming by yourself your, your circumstance says thought that you were, were coming by yourself the people thought that you were coming by yourself but little did they know that you were coming in the name of jesus christ you were coming with the full authority of heaven you were coming with the lord of hosts you were coming with the one who commands the armies who commands the the innumerable amount of angels at his beck and call they are there they didn't know you were coming with the support of heaven and you will champion and you will overcome the situation that thought or seemed like it was going to kill you praise the name of the lord this morning so, so you don't we don't spend time and worry one of the things that i realized about david in the scripture david was bold david was strong he wasn't the biggest he wasn't the tallest but he was bold and he was strong and because he was bold and because he was strong he stood firm to what he believed he stood firm to, 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 to what he believed the lord was going to do he didn't know that the lord was going to do it but he had confidence in the lord and we have to have confidence in the lord that we serve we have to have confidence in the god that we trust we have to have confidence in the lord god almighty because god is able to keep god is able to deliver god is able to 
cause us to walk in victory for we are not victims we are victors and that situation that has been pressing you down and that situation that has made you feel like it has been bowling you over that situation that has been tormenting you today in the name of jesus christ you're gonna cut off the head of that giant you're gonna cut off the head of that hydra you're gonna cut off the head of that dragon and you're gonna walk strong and you're gonna walk secure oh praise the name of the lord god this morning isn't the lord wonderful and isn't he, isn't he great so i'm here to remind you of this word that i know you have heard before that you are going to overcome. You're going to overcome the, 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 the Goliath. You're going to cut the head off the Goliath. You're going to overcome the Goliath today and you're going to come out strong. You're going to come out on top. I'm just reminding you today that you're overcoming the Goliath. You're overcoming this Goliath that has been fighting against you and that stronghold. Yes, you are overcoming. So be encouraged today be encouraged praise the name of the lord that the lord has your back that the lord is right by your side be encouraged today that the lord will never leave you nor the lord will never forsake you that you are coming out on top praise the name of the lord cut off the head of that dragon today cut off the head off of that goliath today and feed it to the dogs praise the name of the lord feed that goliath head to the dog and allow the dog to eat him fill feed that situation to the dogs today feed that worry to the dogs feed that problem to the dog first cut off its head and then feed it to the dog and allow the dog to have a meal but for you and your house you are overcoming and you have overcome praise the name of the lord i bless you today I bless all that concerns you. I want you to know that you are more than a conqueror. I want you to know that you will overcome. I want you to know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and nothing shall stop the plan and purposes of God in your life. No Goliath, no stronghold. Nothing shall stop the plan and purpose in your life because God has intended you from the beginning to prosper. That is his intention towards you, for you to prosper and for you to be in good health. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you know Jesus Christ as Savior? If you don't know the Lord as Savior, say this quick, quick prayer with us. Lord Jesus, I come. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your blood and cleanse me from all our righteousness. I confess that you are my Lord. And my Savior, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. If you have just said that prayer, welcome to the family of God. Please go ahead and send us a message right here on this medium or our telephone number. You can feel free to, to give us a call. You can send us an email. You can WhatsApp us. We'll be glad to hear from you if this message has been a blessing to you. It's our honor to, to serve you with the word of God. The word of God is truth. And the word of God is wisdom. The word of God is life. Praise the name of the Lord. Hi, I am Brian Callender. Join me in the Living Life God's Way team every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook and on YouTube. And in addition, we are also aired on Radio 365 Grenada. It will be our pleasure to host you in this show. We talk about life, things that matter to persons in life, and things that are necessary to be discussed. Uh, others may not discuss them, but join us, 6.30 p.m., Living Life God's Way.